Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Today we have uh, another uh, mystery guitar. There's a guitar in here, and Leo has no idea what it is. It's Hopefully it. it's the one that was not the mystery guitar last time, but the one it was supposed to be. The Leo James Telly. Honey burst with a clear pickguard. But it might not be. Let's see. Let's, uh, this, well, I think we've established that we don't know what's in this. Box. We have no idea what we're doing. Well, that's been established for years. <laughs> uh, you'll get no argument from me or any of our listeners and subscribers. I'll complain. It's, just, it's my favorite. Well, thank you very, thank you very much, son. You missed one piece over there, corner. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Uh, Leo's son, Patrick, has joined us today. Say hello, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. He's being punished. <laughs> Actually. Whatever this is, it is very heavy. Ah. Uh, well, it's and, in another box. And uh, since Patrick's sitting on the couch, I, I can't just toss stuff that way. So I'm sure you can. can. So if it, I don't exist here. This is a. I'm in a different realm than you. Yeah. <laughs> Until I hit you in the nose with a cardboard box. I've been hit in the nose worse. <laughs> I'm just itching for another chance. Wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is a Russian doll. <laughs> Welcome. Uh. At least this one's not taped up. I don't think. You hope not? <laughs> Jesus. At the end of this, we're going to get a uh, four inch guitar. There's one more box for you. Alright. We're running out of room for boxes. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I can fill that space. Okay, so, so far we have a little bit of encouragement in the. The gig bag does say Leo James on it. Doesn't right. necessarily mean it's a telly. If it is, this is the heaviest telly I've ever, I've ever held. Uh, Sorry, things are getting a little bit hairy over here. What she said. I was I was just about to say. <laughs> oh man, I was this I was so close to saying that one. <laughs> I was like, oh, will it work? Will it? <laughs> you snooze, you lose around here. Okay, I gotta say, uh, this was well packed. Definitely that. And again. Jesus. I was <laughs> okay. So we've got the. Uh, this is a wonderful rubber band. That means ubiquitous in English. <laughs> well, I believe this is a telly. It looks like it's going to be a telly. It certainly got a telly headstock, and uh, looks like a telly. Neck and fingerboard. Just grab her by her feet, Dan, and yank out her yank her dress off. Yeah, we've tried that in the past, and it worked. <laughs> it worked, except for the times that it absolutely did not work. So it is a strategy. But it is not the strategy. Well, it certainly seems to be the strategy today. Once I got it started. Yep, yeah, once you got started. I got to tell you, these Leo James guitars are 
getting more and more attractive. Um, just a beautiful uh, flame on the top. Uh, match grade. It's got a little bit of a sunburst around it. Three position switch. Looks to, you know, exactly like a telly. Got a clear pick guard, which is nice. And uh, it does not look, look like the picture. The picture was more of a cherry burst than this, but I actually like this better. So well, glad, glad to hear that. Uh, so uh, I mean, <laughs> but if you're looking for it to be a cherry burst, this is what you're going to get. Maybe, you know. You can't say that. Right. Last time we ordered, we ordered this guitar, and we got a completely different guitar from a completely different manufacturer. So. <laughs> well, that's correct. Okay. However, so it's a, it's a mahogany body. It is heavy as heck, and uh, but you can. Uh, it has very nice grain on the bottom. Uh, so the, they put a, a, you know, clear on it, and and uh, so just in terms of uh, aesthetics, this is a really pretty guitar. Um, it's got the skunk stripe down the. Down the uh, back of the neck, and uh, is that a windlass style uh, truss rod adjustment? Because it's not at the headstock. It's it's right here. But is it the windlass style? Yes. Okay. Uh, and there's probably some case candy in here, but uh, we'll look in a minute. Um, uh, no trim, which uh, I re <laughs> especially having to deal with those. Uh, Wilkinson swords. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm even more uh, delighted to not have trim. It does not have a what they call an ashtray style bridge, though. Is it string through? I don't believe. No, nope. it's a. Uh, there you go. There's all your. Yeah, top loader. Uh, but it does have six separate. Uh, Bridge pieces. Saddles. Saddles. We got a we got a comment uh, on one of our recent videos that the commentator was not informative. That would be me. So. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, while I. Completely agree with you. On the other hand, you <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> so, <laughs> That's going to sound so much better when I change your voice to a child. <laughs> Change my voice to Darth Vader. Change my voice to Darth Vader. That's a first, uh, folks. <laughs> Evidently, someone has managed, after you know, hundreds and hundreds of videos, to uh, what we what would we call it, piss Dan off. <laughs> Well, I would never say that because we're a family channel. <laughs> well, piss is uh, not exactly a cuss word, I don't guess, unless you're doing it to somebody else. Are we R. Kelly? <laughs> Possible. You're, you're wandering very far afield. Yeah, far. And, uh, okay, so. the fret job, uh, these are not the rounded frets. Uh, uh, once again, the frets are well. These are uh, these have some sharp edges all the way along the neck. Uh, so sharp, like cut you sharp, or just just you know need dressing. Need dressing. Uh, uh, it, you know the neck is uh, there is actually a, a looks like there's a veneer on the neck, even though the whole thing is maple. And if you uh, and if you look here, the I don't see if you I don't know if you can see that yet. 
to get pretty close. Hang on just a second. Let me get a close up. But the fingerboard projects out about, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, that's normal for any guitar, really. No, no. I mean, there's a, there's. A height difference, you mean? No. What I mean is, here's the fingerboard. The neck itself ends about, uh, I don't know. Three sixteenths, maybe. Yeah, three sixteenths of an inch before the fingerboard ends. Right. So they will either have to carve it out that way, which is possible, or it could be that there's, you know, there's an actual fingerboard on top of the, the neck. I don't know. Um, well, I can see from here that there is, but there's a skunk stripe in the front. So, I mean, in the back. So, it could be either way. Now. Above all things, we must be informative. No. We don't have to be informative about guitars, but we must be informative. Okay. So, uh, Skunks are these little animals that are black, usually with one white stripe, sometimes two. They yeah, so smell this, awful. This, and they, they squirt you with uh, informative things that you really don't want to know. Yeah. So anyway, that's enough about skunks. Yes. One wonders why they call these skunk stripes, since they're generally a dark stripe on a lighter background. What would you prefer them called? Uh, I don't know. Mud butt? <laughs> Skid marks. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm trying to get this through this. Right, let's not get wordy now. Yes. Uh, we got started late, so. Yes. So, um, it's uh, mahogany body. It's, uh, you can see that it, it's uh, sunburst, and there is a black binding around the top. I'm trying to see if it's an actual binding. Can't really tell. It's that well done. It's very... Uh, but it does go all the way up to the neck. And uh, so, judging from the other uh, accoutrement of the... You know, there's a word for it. Of the guitar, I'd say it probably is actual, actual binding. Uh, I haven't been able to interview the designer of this guitar yet, and uh, especially since they probably speak Korean, which I do not. Uh, but what kind of Korean they speak, Dan? Korean? <laughs> they speak uh, South Korean. Ah, okay. Because in North Korea, you're not allowed to speak. Ah. Uh, or eat, apparently. Um, anyway. Really, uh, just in terms of visually, it's a very, very nice guitar. I like the flame on the top. It's got match grain right through the middle there. Um, just, uh, you know, if you cover it up this part and said it was, uh, say, a Michael Kelly, I, I really would have a hard time arguing with you. So, uh, so far, I mean, we haven't heard it. Hopefully it, you know, makes a sound. And, all that good stuff. So uh, we're going to stop now, tune it up, and take it through its paces, and we'll be back momentarily. Hey folks, Leo Ryan here. Listen, um, for one thing, Gunter, I have to apologize. Today, no board CNEs on either one of the guitars, but let me explain. We had no Wi-Fi, which means that all of our lighting didn't work. We, we waited as long as we could, and they never did restore it. Still, it's not been restored. Um, my neighbor came over in the middle of our discussing what we were going to do today, and uh, somebody was trying to scam him out of his house. Uh, I ended up having to call his niece in Florida and get her involved and stuff. Uh, we got this guitar out of the box, and... Uh, promptly broken E string and in any case it was not going well but um, we managed to work it out and uh, get everything going except we and I apologize my fault 
for not reminding Dan to do the board CNT. I apologize. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at this uh, Leo James uh, kind of a honey burst uh, telly. A very pretty guitar. Gone through the uh, appearance already and uh, most of the details of the appearance. Uh, in as informative a way as we could. Given our limited capacity for being informative, um, uh, I got to tell you, we we spent the last half hour just uh, getting the thing to tune up because, uh, for whatever reason, the bridge was not very well set up, and uh, we just in trying to tune up, tune it up, we broke the e string. It popped off the <coughs> the the little ball at the end of the string. Um, you know, we we open up and uh, set up a lot of guitars to do these videos. But imagine, uh, you know, you're some guy, you know, you know, always wanted a nice guitar. You order this and uh, it's not set up correctly. So the first thing you do in trying to play your brand new guitar that you're just can't wait to hear is you lose a string. Um, that's, it's frustrating enough for us, for, for people who are only buying one guitar at a time. Uh, it's probably really frustrating. So uh, uh, um, anyway, we finally got it going. And uh, let's just see how, uh, how the pickups sound. So... quack you're looking for. Still getting a little bit of a, of a, a buzz. buzz off of it, but nothing like it was. And, uh, the E and the A string kind of si sounded like a sitar when we first got it. Um, the, just a pet peeve of mine, but if you're going to sell a guitar that looks this nice, it would really be good if it actually at least played acceptably well when you took it out of the box. Um, but that's just me. So there you have it. That's what the pickup sounds like. So we're going to stop one more time and 
pick something to play for you and we'll be right back thanks hey folks today we're looking at this leo james uh honey burst telecaster uh we've gone through uh, the appearance and the pickups and now we're just going to play something for you as we usually do and this is from elevated jam tracks one of our favorite uh, track providers and it's called the cruising smooth groove guitar backing track in e minor so uh, let's let's see what we got and uh, before you get started dan uh we need to explain to everybody we have no wi-fi today for some reason so a lot of our lights and things like that that we normally use are not uh, available to us so uh, please forgive us for that yes because usually we would look just about as ugly as we usually look but in purple yes uh, so uh, oh and uh, Leo wanted me to say that the dot inlays on the neck are either abalone or mother of pearl we're not sure which uh, but they are they're uh, kind of look like my old toilet seat but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> so, once again, here we go.
Leo James uh, Honeyburst Tilly. Once we got the, the action to work right and the strings to stay on, it sounds really pretty nice. Very nice differentiation between the three positions. And uh, that's, a, that's about all I got to say about it. I'm Dan Ryan, Leo Ryan's behind the camera. Patrick Ryan is uh, chilling over here in the corner. And uh, we hope that you will like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be reminded of our future videos. And that's it for this time. Thanks a lot.